Excitement in the Amsterdam air as we get ready for a big night of football at the arena in this great city. My name is Derek Ray and I'm joined for commentary on this gargantuan night by Lee Dixon. And we've got Champions League group stage action to look forward to this evening. It's Ajax taking on Real Madrid. Yeah, the long road to the final starts here in game one. Always think that if you win your home games and don't lose your away games, you've got a good chance of progressing. Even winning the Champions League last season, and they'll be very, very confident they can go deep in this competition this time round. They'll need to ride their luck at times, but they've got top players, they really have. And the expectations of this club are huge. Going to be tough, but I'm pretty sure they're confident enough to push it all the way. So the initial 11 for the home side. Would you call it 4-5-1, Lee? Yeah, I really like this formation, Derek. 4-2-3-1, really. The two central midfield players supplying support to a three ahead of them and then a lone striker with a number 10 just behind him. And here's the starting 11 for Real Madrid. And they are a team, Lee, known for their aggressive high pressing. Well, absolutely. That takes a lot of hard work, a lot of organisation, force the opposition to make early passes. The weakness of it, if you beat the high press, you can get exposed at the back. Frankie de Jong. The ball with Luka Modric. This is Kroos. Modric. Karim Benzema. Marcelo. Well, he's setting the table for his team. Van der Beek. Dusan Tadic. Tagliafico. A really committed challenge, and it's gone out for a throw-in. De Jong. Blint. Tagliafico. Well, they are the record winners of this great competition, Real Madrid. And you always feel, Lee, that no matter the stage of the competition, where Real Madrid are concerned, you're witnessing history. Well, absolutely. Their history would suggest that they need to win every game because the pressure is always on them, and quite rightly so and very, very close to my heart because they came over in 99 and played in my testimonial, so I love Real Madrid. Very generous of them. They chose well. And he's a man anyone would want in their side. Toni Kroos, the German midfield player. To what extent will he contribute in this game, Lee? Well, you need lots of attributes to be a midfield player, but one of them is his passing, and his range of passing is second to none. Long range, mid range, and he can thread a pass as well. Corner kick delivery from Tony Kroos, and you need your defender to take charge. Benzema, and options in the centre, Karim Benzema, will there be a tangible end product, and whipped into the box, and the defender takes care of business, throw-ins given, now Casemiro, with Nicolas Tagliafico here's Carvajal Bale now Casemiro let's see what he has in store for them Casemiro well, can he make this move count now Casemiro now what can he do here Schöne. De Jong. And it might well be scott for them to counter-attack here. 
a chopping challenge and the referee has got to have a big think about it and following that tackle he's got to go into the book yeah he's missed time more than anything there just mistimed his tackle Is it going to end up being productive for them? Masrawi with it. Good numerical situation. He's taken on his opponent here. And they deal with the threat this time. Karim Benzema. This is Kroos. Benzema. Casemiro. Immaculately placed by Casemiro. Now he must favour the cross. And the danger cleared. Dusan Tadic. Dolberg has it. It's with Schöne. Frankie de Jong. Masrawi with it. And Ziyech. Crossed in there. Well, he had a decent reading of that ball in. Maneuvering his way forward. Casemiro. This is Sergio Ramos. Now Casemiro. Marcelo. Karim Benzema. Is he going to punish them here? The cross from Danny Cabajal. He didn't quite do enough. Ball with Nicolas Tagliafico. De Jong. Now, let's see what they can do here. Crossing possibilities. And he's clear his lines. The ball with Luka Modric. Tony Kors. Benzema. Ziyech. It's with Schöne. Donny van der Beek. Frankie de Jong. Masrawi with it. Van der Beek. Moving through the gears. Masrawi here. Schöne. And clears his lines. Bale. Carvajal. He's been a bit unlucky. This is Sergio Ramos. The ball with Luka Modric. Benzema. Tony Kors. And just a whisker away with that effort. Well, he chose his instep. Good technique, just wide. has it Tagliafico Daily Blitz Schöne it's with Hakim Ziyech Modric Marcelo a really committed challenge and it's gone out for a throw in in possession Marcelo Tony Kors. And across the touchline, so a throw in here. This is Kors. Karim Benzema. And a no nonsense clearance. Tony Kors. 
Marcelo in possession Marcelo and the cross not quite accurate enough this is Kroos space and time for the cross the referee has decided that two additional minutes are in order Dolberg has it Dusan Tadic from the bake Tadic has it Frankie de Jong ball with Nicolas Tagliafico let's see what he has in store for them no nonsense clearance and there it is the half time whistle well Tony Kroos is normally pretty good at bringing his influence to bear could he do a bit better Lee? well no goals for him no real chances either he needs to help his team a little bit more just to get involved in the game I think he would be the difference if he was playing better so they get the ball rolling in the second half even Steven here so little to choose between the sides Daly Blitz it's with Schöne from the bank Schöne Blitz De Jong running with the ball confidently well let's see does he mean business and you need your defender to take charge you never really know Lee if it's going to come off when you hit it on the volley in that fashion yeah hero to zero when he struck that you think wow and then all of a sudden you realise where it's gone Karim Benzema Casemiro so close to keeping himself onside but offside is the verdict well and that's his job the linesman give those tight offside decisions and get them right Puts it in, not messing around with that clearance. From the bake. Ball with Nicolas Tagliafico. Tadic has it. De Jong. Donny van der Beek. And no problems whatsoever for the goalkeeper. Throw-ins given. Well, Real Madrid are going to make the change now. De Jong. Dusan Tadic. Ajax couldn't keep it. And they'll get ready for the throw in. Frankie de Jong. Oh, can he make this move count? Donny van der Beek. Will there be a tangible end product? Well, he's setting the table for his team. Might be a chance here. And off the crossbar with that effort. Rather unfortunate. Well, it's a decent effort. Sometimes you're taught by coaches to aim high over the goalkeeper. That time just hits the crossbar. Luka Modric and decent acreage for Real Madrid to run into 
And he's made headway. Does he have the beating of the goalkeeper? Splendid save to foil the header lead. Yeah, it was. Goalkeepers are there for that reason. Strikers score. Goalies are going to keep the ball out of the net. Look at Modric. Fail! And this time, it's in. Well, so often than not, the post can be the goalie's friend. Not on this occasion. So close, but it's in. A chance to revisit the goal. And the match back in business, Real Madrid with the advantage. Now De Ligt. Van der Beek. This is Kroos. Here is Marco Asensio. Marco Asensio. Toni Kroos. This is Sergio Ramos. Here is Marco Asensio. Marco Asensio. Marcelo. And it's there for Gareth Bale. Well, he was being pursued furiously. The effort, though, nothing to write home about, really. No, I think you give the credit to the defender there. Just put him off balance. Ziyech, Masrawi with it, Frankie de Jong, well it's come down to the final 20 minutes here, Dusan Tadic, and they continue to advance, and a lot of options here, and dispossessed, well great read there to intercept, back from the byline, getting in the way, Marcelo! Just too close to the goalkeeper in the end, wasn't it? Yeah, poor technique, really, and the goalkeeper's not troubled. And they'll have to throw it back in play. It's with Hakim Ziyech. And Ziyech... Benzema. 15 minutes remaining. Luka Modric. Karim Benzema. Luka Modric. Marcelo. And scope for the cross. Throw-ins given. Marco Asensio. Marcelo. Here is Marco Asensio. Casemiro. Terrific reflex action. Yeah, you've just got to come out and spread yourself and hope for the best. He's driven in the corner. The outcome is a goal kick here. And it is substitution time at this juncture. Not just from one side, but from both. Now, De Ligt. With their noses in front in the second half. What will be the thinking in the cap, Lee Dixon? Well, with a narrow lead and the clock ticking away, it's so easy for the rail players to lose concentration. Asking the referee how long to go, looking over at the bench, staying focused is a skill. Now, what can he do here? Will there be a tangible end product? He has teammates to play it to. Masrawi with it. De Ligt. Pro 
Ramos couldn't keep it. And Lasse Schöner. Let's see what he has in store for them. Taking care of business defensively here. Space and time for the cross. Well, let's see. Does he mean business? And now David Neres. Time really is of the essence. What can they do from this situation? Substitution for Real Madrid. Now the execution of the corner. Just couldn't capitalise there. It's with Danny Ceballos. Here is Marco Asensio. And the referee is going to add on three minutes. And the referee has pointed to the spot at a crucial phase in the proceedings. It's truly a horrendous position they're in now. A player sent off, a penalty to face on the wrong end of the scoreline, Lee. Well, the only way it can get any worse is if this penalty goes in. Awful position for the side now. And the keeper denies them from the spot. Another goal from this corner would in all likelihood secure a victory. Deep ball in. Keeper did his job to begin with. And he's pulled it back here. And a power. Well, now is his final. And Real Madrid will be wondering where it went awry tonight. A terrible start to their Champions League campaign. It's not a disaster as Sonic game one. You can't afford any more slip ups. That result will eat away at the players until game two comes along. about it and following that tackle he's got to go into the book yeah he's missed time more than it and just a whisker away with that effort well he chose his instep good technique just wide end of to take charge you never really know lee if it's going to come off when you hit it on the volley in that fashion yeah hero to zero when he struck that you think wow and then all of a sudden you realize and off the crossbar with that effort rather unfortunate well it's a decent effort sometimes you're taught by coaches to aim high over the goalkeeper that time bridge fail and this time it's in and it's there for gareth bale well, he was being pursued furiously. The effort, though, nothing to write home about, really. No, I think you give the credit to the defender. Casemiro, terrific reflex action. Yeah, you've just got to come out and spread yourself and hope for the better spot at a crucial phase in the proceedings. It's truly a horrendous position they're in now. And the keeper denies them from the spot. Another goal from this corner would in all likelihood secure a bit.